Hello, my lovies. Um, today we're going to do the letter J. You can see we'll be talking about the sound that the letter J makes, which is J. Our picture has a little girl in a, on a jumping jump rope. J. So we would say jumping jump rope. Jumping jump rope. J. J, J. These are going to be easy words for you. J. Sure. Jam. Like jelly. J -job. Job. All kinds of jobs a person can have. Job. J. A. G, jog, if a person goes for a jog, they go for a little run, J, A, jug, it can be a jug of milk, or people used to make jugs out of clay, clay jug, jazz, jazz is a kind of music, Jazz. Four sounds now. J, a, m, p, jump, jump. Good. Now. J, Ill, Jill, like Jack and Jill. J, Ack, that's Jack, a boy's name. And I know it's a name because it's a capital. I'm not making a sentence. The first word of a sentence needs a capital. But this is just one word, a name. And all names start with a capital. Now, same word, j, ak, but there's no capital. So I'm not talking about the name of a boy, Jack. A jack is something that you use if you have a flat tire on your car and it lifts up the car. Now, there's the word jack. We're going to make another word. I'm going to add an s to it. Remember what we said, an S on the end of the word means more than one. So, jacks are these little things, and it's a game that you play. You bounce the ball, and while the ball's up in the air, you try to pick up a jack. And then the next time, you try to pick up two jacks. That's a game of jacks. Jack. Remember on big words, we're always going to do the first three sounds and then we'll do the second. Jack pot. And jackpot's a happy word. Usually, if something really good happens, you say, Oh, I hit the jackpot. Now, this is where our lesson today is going to get really crazy. I told you before that people who are learning English for the first time, they get very upset because we're going to show you, I'm going to show you another spelling for the sound of J, J. And other languages only have one letter for that sound. Are you ready? It's going to be crazy. Take a look at this, D, G, E, and this green box is just like with C, K. It means a vowel is going to go there, either A, E, I, O, or U, D, G, E. 
Now, isn't that crazy? There isn't even a J anywhere in those letters. And someone who is learning English for the first time says, wait a minute, you should say D, G, E, but we don't. We say J. Now, remember that your brain is always taking pictures. So the more you see these words, this is going to be easy for your brain to remember. Today, I've put this picture behind this so that you remember it. that part is going to be the J sound. Ah, I purposely made this green. I don't want you to say do like that would be the word do if I stopped right there. It's D, ah, J, dodge. And dodge means to get out of the way. If you play dodge ball, you try to get out of the way of the ball. Now, let's count how many letters are in that word. One, five letters. How many sounds? Three sounds. D, A, J. Doesn't that just look crazy? A, J. Badge. It's what a policeman wears. Brr, I, Bri. Bridge. And that's a picture of the London Bridge. We sing that little song, London Bridge is Falling Down. That's the bridge. E -j. Edge. There's the edge of the pool. Wa, e, j, wedge. And wedge is something when it's cut, when it's made, it's in a triangle form. It's skinny at the bottom and wide at the top. Put that wedge in when you're trying to split a tree open. Here's a wedge of cheese. And some people use a wedge of wood and they put it under their door to keep their door open. It's called a door stop. Oh, eh, sure, ledge. And ledge is something that's out, it sticks out a little bit and it's outside a window. This is the window ledge. The birds are on the window ledge. Or people put shelves up, but they're not hooked onto anything else. They're just onto the wall. And that's called a picture ledge. Pull. E. Pledge. Pledge. Put your hand over your heart and you say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Soul. Are you saying that? Good. Make sure you blend it out loud. Soul. E. J. Sledge. And a sledge is a kind of hammer that's very heavy. And so when you hit with it, it really can break things easily. E. J. Hedge. And hedge are plants that make like a wall, but there's no, or a fence, there's no fence there, there's no bricks for a wall. It's just plants that grow, and then they're clipped so that they look like that. Okay, there's the same word, hedge, hog, hedgehog. And a hedgehog is that cute little animal. J, J, uh, J. Okay. That word is judge. Now take a look at it. 
J, A, J. Three sounds, two of them are J. And a judge is in court. He's the man that leads the court, decides. Uh, this is a great one. Fudge. Oh, fudge. Fudge candy. Hot fudge ice cream. Hot fudge sundaes. Those are good words. N -a -j. Nudge. Very good. And nudge is when you poke somebody with your elbow. Not hard, just to get their attention. Nudge. Grr. Uh. Grr. Let me take that back one. Grudge. A grudge is not a good thing. A grudge is if someone does something to you. Suppose they step on your toes, and they say sorry, and you go, well, I'm not going to forgive you. I'm going to remember it, and I'm going to try to hurt you back someday. That would be holding a grudge when you don't forgive someone, and you know, the bad part about that is it only is bad for you because the other person, they go on their way, so don't hold a grudge. Forgive people and then just forget about it. Don't hold a grudge. Don't keep fighting about it. Just forgive and move on. Remember what I said about ED. It means it already happened. So John jogged. Okay, read the whole thing for me. Lid. That's a sight word, was. Mm -hmm. What do we have so far? The lid was stuck on the j -ug. Read the whole sentence. Good. Good job. Jill. J, umped. Now, there's no period, so my sentence is still going to keep going. Jill jumped into the pond by a edge. Edge. Ah, this is an easy family, the at family. Ack family. B ack. Qua. Sm. Track. Black. Crack. Good work. And that was very good work today.